guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today we have the Tottenham vs Olympiacos Champions League uh, match day preview. Before we get into it, I just want to say that this is being filmed on a Thursday, way before the game and before the West Ham game. So I don't know the outcome of that. Um, I'm just going to go based off of the actual Olympiacos game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the Champions League predictions for all of the group stage games coming up this week. Um, that was out yesterday, I believe. So there's a link in the description and it just popped up in the eye. So check that out and subscribe for more content. We've got FIFA 20 career mode, Premier League predictions that are going to be coming out thick and fast. So by now you know what the West Ham versus Tottenham result was. I think it'll be 1-0. Um, as I said, this is being filmed way before it's, this is being released. Um, it's Mourinho's first game in charge against West Ham. And now this is his first European game in charge against Tottenham and his first home game. Um, and I expect big things under Mourinho. He's a born winner, as I've said. Um, in the other videos and I think he can bring good things now if we win this game we do qualify for the knockout stages which is crucial I think we're through anyway um, but with Bayern Munich coming up you never know so we have to win this game and I think we will win this game I think we will win 4-0 against Olympiacos put on a show in front of the home crowd um, and in Mourinho's first game in charge um, the team that I think will start is in goal I'm going to go with Gazaniga as I've said can't pick anyone else the two fullbacks, I'm going to go with Serge Aurier and Ben Davies. I think there will be a bit of rotation for this Champions League game. Um, and I think them two will start. And at the back, I'm going with Sanchez and Alderweireld. I said it in the West Ham preview. I don't think there's going to be much rotation with Mourinho. He's going to pick his best team every single time. And he will get rid of the dead wood. The two holding midfielders, I'm going to go with Eric Dyer and Harry Winks this time. Because I've seen that Ndombele might not play against West Ham. And the video's already gone out. So I'm going to go with Dyer and Winks in the middle. On the wings, I'm going to go with Hyung Ming Sun and Musa Sissoko again. I think them two will start. I think Sissoko, because of how he played with Ramirez at Chelsea, um, extra cover in the middle and is good going forward. Um, really strong as well and quite pacey. And then the other two, I'm going to go with Deli Ali and Harry Kane, a team that's not really rotated. I think he's going to keep the main team. Ericsson on the bench again, I don't really expect him to play him under Mourinho, I expect the three contract expirees to go and him to reshape in January and in the summer. Um, there's been many links linking us with players. Yeah, Olympiacos, they are the Greek champions, um, they're a really strong team. When we played them last time we went 2-0 up and then eventually drew 2-2 but that was like in the pits of Potratino when we wasn't really playing well. Uh, now. It's different. Mourinho knows all about the Champions League and I expect a big win. Um, sorry any Greek people that are watching this or Olympiacos fans. I don't mean to offend you, it's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, this is really short because I struggle talking about these games. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As I said, subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>